my name is Amber and this is my channel, A Fox Gloves Handiwork. Today I am super excited to share with you all some amazing estate sale finds and a few uh, Goodwill Bins finds. I think with its springtime, I don't know, I just scored super good and I'm excited to share. Let's go estate sale shopping. Here's a little footage of my journey. I thought I was going to document it. However, I quickly filled my arms with goodies and the houses were pretty packed with people. And so I ditched that idea, but it's fun to see a few little clips before we dive into the hall. The first estate sale, it was its second day. Yes. Their sale was anything that was $10 or less was half off, and then anything $10 or more was 30% off. I think my favorite find are these two dance pots. I love the color. There's this beautiful turquoise, and I totally vintage. They've been used, they're enamel. Uh, there is the bottom. And if you're not familiar with these, what's cool is that not only this unique design on the top allows you to stack them in a really gorgeous way. And then I also have seen like putting your hot pot on top too, they're cool. Oh, find out if you are or have used these or had had these. Let me know in the comments, is this something that you actually did or did the wetness, did that not work? I don't know, I could see it going either way. This one was originally 35. The larger one, oh, it's heavy. The larger one, oh, that doesn't work for my hand. This one originally was $40. This one was originally 35, but with the discount, this was 27. This was 23, so together got them for $50 for the two. Love, so excited. Also at that estate sale, I found these William Morris gift paper books. This one is empty uh, and they were 50 cents. So I think they gave me 50 cents for the two of them. Right, oh yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the paper has been used up, but it has really great information about William Morris. I love William Morris. I am very inspired by the arts and crafts movement. And I just think the, I think it's beautiful, the like simplicity of nature, but it's symmetrical and mathematical and, uh, also that it was like a, a socialist movement and wanting everyone deserves to have beautiful things in their lives and kind of a push away from really industrialized things and taking the time to create a chair, right? The hard work and craftsmanship that goes into it. So I kept, I got this. It's like 25 cents. This one is brand new. So exciting. I got this. I don't know what it is. I think this is for business cards. It's a, a kind of wood mosaic design. It's not very big, but while it's sized, it's a little bit warped. You can see that. It opens up here and like has a slot there where you could put business cards. That's what I was thinking. And I am, I kind of envisioned using this for I'm hoping I got some I got some things in the works I I would love to create a pop-up shop to sell some of these lovely finds I have locally and I just thought that would be such a groovy little stand to sell my card or put business cards on uh if you have any ideas of what this might have been used for please let me know down in the comments this <laughs> it's not actually old, it's just a home good essentials, but I love the 
the crackling, which is kind of hard to see. There it is. And like it's a reusable fruit container. So when I go out to the garden to harvest cherry tomatoes, right, they could go in here. Or raspberries, if I have enough to fill this. I got these little pots. It was three of them for the dollar. Super sweet, so quaint. Another piece of beautiful pottery. Listed two bucks, so half off, a dollar. It is signed, and there's these little flowers. Signed there, which honestly, two bucks on its own is cheaper than Goodwill, but then discount, so that was definitely a steal. I got, oh, I got that at another one. These four of them, they're copper on the outside, so copper plated. Looks like a brass handle, and then it's silver. I don't know if that's tin. Uh, I think they're making for making coffee. Uh, I don't know the term, but my understanding is like in a lot of Middle Eastern countries, um, or like I'm thinking like Turkey, like Turkish coffee. It's kind of what uh, the grounds are in there, and it settles down. I think that's what these are for. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I might use them to heat up a little bit of syrup, maple syrup, or some butter, right? I think there's multiple uses, but they have just a nice little flower decoration uh, that has been hammered or, yeah, pressed in there. And there are four of them. Originally, they were two bucks each, but got them for a dollar. Two baskets, can't, hard to pass up on baskets. This one's a little damaged, but again, right? This was a dollar, this was two, can't do, a dollar fifty, which baskets at Goodwill are really pricey now. So, estate sale is where it's at. This was the first estate sale. So the second estate sale, I, you know, I'd looked these up like the day or two before on estatesale.net. It was like my weekend plans. And there were some of those like mid-century little coasters that have the ridge and the butterflies in them that I saw in the pictures. And I, those piqued my interest. And they were there when I got there. So here's what I'm talking about. It has that little butterfly, bamboo. They come in their ad adorable little basket. Yeah. Right? I and look at that beautiful rattan on the front. That's really gorgeous. I didn't even pay attention to that. Uh, and there's two of them, which I'm super excited. I did some of the glass is cracked and so I think if I were to resell these I would make one complete set but all the f the butterflies are in pretty good condition oh yeah so like that one's cracked and the butterfly is real but they put in little paper bodies I don't know if you can see that but really pretty Oh, this one's another one that has the cracked glass. It was really exciting to see something in the pictures, in the listing, and then that I was interested in, and then get it. So I think I got each of these for five. Combine it. It was exciting. And I got some ornaments. I Estate sales are such a great place to look for Christmas stuff. And I am really interested in spo Christmas spode. And I got a platter for my grandmother and not realizing that it was spode in this design. But then I started seeing, or I saw some YouTube video, I think maybe it was the Thrifting Twins. They were like, oh, it's not spode because it has a star at the top, not a Santa 
Santa Claus. And I saw this. So this is a Spode Christmas ornament. And I just broke it. Oh, maybe I can put it back together. Oh, <laughs> that makes me so sad. I will glue it back together. Well, you know what? Things break. That's why I was in this cushion thing. Oh, I wish I could do rewind. Can't do that in life. Okay, so you can see here that it has the Santa Claus. And then on the back, it says Merry Christmas. Luckily, this break... I bet I, yeah, because this is something I want for me too. So I'm okay with a little crack and I'll have this memory of making this video. Um, but it, it can kind of, yeah, so that'll be, I'll, I can fix that. <sighs> I should slow down. <laughs> so that was exciting to find. The rest of these ornaments are not ceramic. I always look for the straw woven ornaments. Northern Minnesota, where I grew up, has a strong Norwegian and Swedish influence because 100 years ago, a lot of the, uh, folks were immigrating here. And I, so just, I think it's really beautiful. I actually haven't even looked through all of these. So those, it's not quite the same woven, but those are really sweet. And the little wooden ornaments. Some bells. There's an actual bell. And these just came in some bags. I just grabbed the bag, right? It's just There's another little drummer guy. And so these are the kind of ornaments that are so sweet, but they're not, they're not my thing. They're definitely vintage. I'll give it that. This is cool. I like the little, the needle point. That's really pretty. At that second estate sale, I also found this little saucer with a nice glaze, nice stoneware. I don't see a signature, but just really simple, earthy, my vibes. Went on estatesales.net and pulled up a listing that I remember seeing before, but it was kind of far away. But I was like halfway there now at this estate, so I was like, might as well go all the way and so glad that I did. This house was packed with people, packed with stuff. The Whoever had lived there before, they raised their children in that house. It was, it was stepping into a time capsule. I got a lot of stuff and I'm so excited <laughs> to share. I can feel okay that my spode ornament broke because and I'll be much more I'll, my lesson has been learned they had these spode wine glasses and I think some of my favorite I love the little it's hard to see so there's a little mistletoe and then the little um holly and there it says says spode on the base there's six of them so for four bucks each looked at them and walked away and looked at them and then finally decided I was like you know what those would be so fun at Christmas I'm kind of now on this I'm on the train of collecting Spode and the beautiful room glasses I just imagine my kit like my dining room table with these with some wine or just even water or just that felt really celebratory so I did it. I got, and there's six of them. You can kind of, winter seasonal is this gorgeous reindeer candlestick. It says it's made in India. It's not solid brass, but it does look like it's brass plated. Uh, I guess I don't know what that is underneath, but maybe it's silver because of the tarnishing. Look at that. That looks really silver. I don't know. 
either way, I think it's really cool. And for four bucks, that was pretty neat. And then I found kind of a, I would say matching. No, not quite matching. They're a little bit different, but very kind of similar um, candle snuffer, kind of reindeer. Uh, I found this strawberry shortcake tea kettle cover, which I thought was just so darn cute. I don't have a tea kettle this large, and I noticed that there were some stains, but I thought this could be, I could do like a thrift flip and make a hot pad, right? Then, then that could be sold at a pop-up shop, but strawberries, so sweet. And you could, I mean, it's vintage strawberry shortcake. Cause like, that's that character, right? This fabric, this beautiful floral with this green. Oh. And you know me and my vintage fabrics, strawberries. I think this person who lived there loved, liked strawberries because there was quite a bit of strawberry stuff. I got a vintage quilt. It is so kind of mid-century, kind of 60s, 70s, um, very quintessential. Yeah, look at that. Oh, just gorgeous but just it's 25 bucks and I thought that this I kind of thought that was a steal uh whether using it as a blanket or turning it into a coat this was groovy both of these there's definitely a mid-century vibe going on with this haul today I found a bunch of books and I actually need to go in back in history <laughs> or Rewind the timeline just a moment because I went to state sale shopping on Saturday and the Friday before, after work, I got a little dose of thrifting to celebrate the end of the week. I went to Goodwill and I found some children's books. So I'm going to show you those first because then you can understand how exciting the books at this other state sale was. So I always look for Beatrix Potter. So we have Mr. Jeremy Fisher. A Peter Rabbit tale. The tale of Flopsy Bunnies. Ah, so sweet. I got these. Bambi gets lost. And this is the 1970. Oh, look at those illustrations. Just really stunning. It's copyright 1941, comma. 1972. Found this, which I thought was pretty cute. The teddy bears. Birthday surprised. So this was cool. Animals that live together. Nice vintage. Like, and the illustrations are just really cool. Like, very realistic, but still kind of not cartoony, but there's pieces of art. 1959 and then my favorite find of this is the Friday Goodwill little Danny look how cute little Danny is oh so cute and on the back there it says printed in Sweden for Ramborn Corp Little Neck New York and I looked this up online and I couldn't find a lot. It doesn't have like a publisher stuff. And, but it says the tale of little Danny, a forest elf. Look at these illustrations. That little porcupine getting some medicine. <laughs> that little fox and a little baby acorn. And that's mama and papa acorn. Baby acorn fell out of a tree. That's so darn cute. Definite find. Because at Goodwill, I think the books are like a buck. So, I was really excited. So I like felt good. Then I went on my, this is Saturday. Down in the basement, they had a ton of books. And I found some more Beatrix Potter books. Oh, The Tale of Gloucester, or Taylor. Tale of Benjamin Bunny, 
Alice in Wonderland, which was really cool. And a copyright 1951. So just, you know, the classic story, but just really sweet, you know, detailed illustra illustration. So very, you know, kind of cool. I was very excited to find some classics from my childhood, which were also, were actually from my mother's childhood. So this book, Miss Susie, is from the Parents Magazine Press. And so a lot of these books are from that. Uh, this is one of my favorite stories, hands down. And that was so exciting to find it. The Grown Up Day. Ah! Bernadette's Busy Morning. So these are like huge nostalgia factor for me. And it is interesting as I'm getting older. Uh, nostalgia definitely, I, I get it. I'm understanding it, right? It's a, it's a powerful force. Uh, I found a, a couple, like I picked up a few other of the parent, parent magazines, parents magazine press. So this Fiddler on the Roof, just really fun illustrations, very 70s. Super cool. I grabbed this one, The Great Wolf and The Good Woodsman. Yeah. So nice collection of books. And lo and behold, there was a Bambi Gets Lost. So within a 24 hour period of time, I found myself in possession of two of these 19 or 1951 Bambi Gets Lost. This just felt like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, what? <laughs> it's, it's just so cool. And, oh, 1941, excuse me. Uh, yeah, this was just such a cool coincidence that I found myself with two of these. So I'm developing quite the vintage children's book collection slash Beatrix Potter slash cottage core. So I'm kind of thinking like pop up finding, you know, doing children's books or like having some elements of it be kind of children's items because they're really sweet, whether it's actually given to a child or it's, you know, something that's just placed on a bookshelf or maybe, you know, it's that nostalgia factor for someone. Three estate sales, I'm on a groove. I'm like, why not stop at the Goodwill bins, right? <laughs> I think I have a problem. <laughs> this uh, Treasure Island, beautiful kind of lime green cover. And then another vintage children's book. Found these mustard cover sheets. And I think they're for twins, there's two of them. And I could not pass them up. I was like, that color? is so beautiful. I do not have twin beds yet. There might be some in my future or these are to be sh shared and sh sold. Either way, these had to come home. I know, I, pa I paired these together. Look at all oh, those colors. Get that natural light on them. Great, love. Oh, and I got some amazing Sorrells, these boots, and they fit my mom perfectly. And she was like, oh, I need winter boots. I was like, take them. So they are already off to a good home. Thank you for joining me and following along. I know I asked a few questions. I can't remember what they were now, but let me know what did you like any of this pinging that nostalgia feeling for you. I just love, I have developed a love slash maybe problem of going to estate sales, but I just think this stuff is, it's still around. It's made of such good quality, good materials. I'll give it a second life. And I really appreciate you following along. If this is the first time you're seeing me, check out my channel. I have a, a variety of videos. I do some thrift with me, some estate sale hauls, but I also love crafting and reusing stuff I have or using, like I mentioned, like thrift flips, um, kind of repurposing material. So if those are things that are up your alley or you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button. I 
Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving a thumbs up. And until next time, thank you. Bye.